The model geysers consist of a heat source at the bottom to heat the water in the chamber just above it, a vertical conduit, and a vent with a catch basin at the top that the eruption occurs out of. It's built out of common plumbing supplies and a Pyrex flask. The water in the chamber is heated above the normal boiling point, but does not flash to steam because of the pressure of the water column above. But if a rising and expanding steam bubble pushes some water out of the vent, lowering the pressure, then the superheated water in the chamber flashes to steam, lifting the water above it in the conduit, starting an eruption. As the water flashes to steam, it cools until it is no longer boiling even at the new reduced pressure. With nothing to support the water in the basin above, the water is violently pushed back down the conduit, nearly instantly raising the pressure, condensing the steam in the conduit, and suppressing all further boiling until the chamber reheats.
Yeah, I walked up. I think we waited six minutes for it. <laughs> The water in the chamber is heated above the normal boiling point, but does not flash to steam because of the pressure of the water column above. But if a rising and expanding steam bubble bubble pushes that, redo.